Hey guys, so welcome back. So last week we took a look at the Nakua Adventure Gear 10 amp hour Pro Power Kit. In that review, I told you guys that I was wanting to pick up a couple more products that um, are developed by Nakua to be able to complete my power system for my Hobie Pro Angler 14 kayak. Um, and so over the last week, I've been able to pick up some of those products. I want to provide you guys with an in-depth review of each one of these additional products that I've picked up um, and show you how it fits and completes my system. Um, before we do that, I want to take a second and tell you guys a little bit about Nakua Adventure Gear. Um, so in Nakua, they're based out of North Carolina in the United States. Uh, they began in, in 2013 and they started developing underwater lighting systems that would mount underneath stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, and canoes. Um, as their products continue to develop with the lighting, um, they decided that they needed to develop a rechargeable battery pack that was small enough, light enough, to be able to go onto a paddle board, but still maintain water resistance and ensure that it's safe enough uh, for continuous use, even in, in an aquatic environment. Um, and so 2015, Nakua rolled out the first um, mobile battery pack with the release of the 4 amp hour and the 10 amp hour Pro Power Kit. Um, that has really revolutionized uh, how small and portable some of these battery packs are, and especially for in the fishing industry. Um, when we are fishing out of kayaks, we want to minimize the weight as much as possible. And instead of picking up really heavy sealed lead acid batteries um, that aren't reliable, Nakua has developed these small, lightweight, reliable um, lithium battery packs that really do cut down on the weight. Um, so one of the first products that I picked up um, is the Pro Power Dual USB Adapter. Um, and this, this dual USB adapter, um, it basically has a couple different features. One, it's going to allow you to charge your USB devices like your cell phone, your GoPro, uh, but it also has a battery level indicator built in with the lighting around the USB lights or the USB ports. Um, and this USB ports, there, you have two of them. Um, the very top one is a 5 volt 1 amp port. And that's going to be really optimized for smartphones and provides a denser charge. Whereas the port below that, they give you another option, which is also 5 volts, but it's 2.1 amps. And it's going to give you, um, it's more optimized for those tablets, and it's going to provide you a faster charge. So a fast charge um, device, fast capable charge device. Um, but the lighting system is also, the light indicator, the battery indicator is a nice feature. So if you're curious about how much voltage you have left in your battery pack, and let's say you don't have a, um, a fish finder that would, it's going to give you that voltage indicator, then you can just look into the, to, to the actual front of your USB, um, your dual USB adapter. And so the green light is going to indicate that you have 100% to 65% battery life. The blue light will be 65 to 36%, and the red light is 36% to 0%. And so NACWA for 2021 has actually redesigned um, the cap for the dual USB adapter. And as you can see by these uh, pictures here, this is the very first um, or the previous design of the dual USB adapter. It has a um, very thin single flap um, cover that will go into both slots of the USBs, the USB adapter portions, um, and then kind of seals around the edge. Um, but for 2021, they have redesigned this cap um, to have those same internal pieces that will actually plug both of the, uh, the USB ports, but it has a ring that goes around, that seals the inner piece of that, and then now it has a thick silicone that will actually encase the entire front half of um, the dual USB adapter, and you can really get a good seal on that. So that really should prevent any water moisture um, from getting into these, uh, these USB ports while you're out on the water. Um, so this is a really great device. Again, um, it, it really allows you to be able to power all your devices. For me, um, I like to have my phones charged as I'm fishing. I like to have uh, my GoPros charging. Um, the GoPro battery is it's very small, does not have a lot of capacity, um, so it's going to run dead pretty quick on you. Uh, but So just being able to, to have an external battery pack, knowing that I have enough power to be able to um, support electronics on my on my kayak as well as be able to recharge my phone 
and my GoPros. And I also, um, on my phone, the way that I have it set up, I like to run my 2D sonar or down scan or um, left and right structure side scan on my actual fish finder. And then off to the right, mounted to the H-Rail on my kayak, I have a RAM mount that actually um, holds my, my iPhone where I have um, the Navionics um, app and the, the mobile maps loaded onto my iPhone so I can actually see the contour maps while I'm fishing. So it kind of gives me two different displays so I can focus on two different things. But that's going to pull a lot of power even out of the brand new iPhone 12 Pro that I have. It's going to drain the battery on your phone just within, several, within a few hours of continuously using the GPS. And especially if it's a sunny day, the, the, uh, the screen brightness is going to have to kick all the way up. Um, so you're going to need a way to be able to recharge your phone while you're out in the water. And uh, this dual USB adapter by Nakua um, it really fits that need for me. The last thing I want to talk about is the actual installation of the dual USB adapter. Um, so I have a Hobie Proinger kayak, and what I decided to do was actually uh, install this uh, the dual USB adapter into the Hobie bucket, um, which is in the center hatch. And so as you can see here, um, I had to actually make a cut into the side of the bucket. It was a one and one eighth inch diameter hole. Um, once I did that, I was able to to go ahead and insert the USB adapter through. Um, I tightened up the uh, the locking nut on the back. Before I tightened it all the way up though, I applied some silicone all the way around and then tightened it up, locked it in place, and ran the wires um, back to the front of my batteries. Um, I think overall, I think it's a pretty clean install. It's gonna be really nice to be able to charge my phone, my GoPro, um, or any other USB uh, power device um, down in my Hobie bucket. Hey guys, so that pretty much concludes my review of the Nakua Adventure Gear dual USB adapter. Check back next week. I'm going to take an in-depth review of the Nakua Adventure Gear Smart Link battery connector as well as their corrosion prevention kit. Thank you.